What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Galaxy Note 9 and today we're back with one of the official cases from Samsung. This is going to be the silicone case in that blue which hopefully looks up pretty good or matches up pretty well with the blue Note 9. We'll check it out. Pricing is between 24 and 29 bucks I think depending on where you get it at. I'll throw up the link in the video description where I got it from, and I think I paid around 24 bucks for it. So, this is one of the official cases, and I've been looking for really something that matches or complements that blue pretty well. I wasn't really a fan of the blue. It looks beautiful, but I prefer just a simple black back or red or something like that. So, we're going to try to see how this looks with it. I really actually don't mind the blue with some of the black cases as well but this is going to be one that should complement it pretty well uh packaging looks premium enough you'll have samsung logo up top got a little samsung branding in the middle silky and soft touch and the back's going to give you a little more details about what you're actually going to get in the case itself now i do have i mean silicone cases are really nice they have a nice touch to them they have a nice overall feel to them but i do hate sometimes it's like they're lint magnets, so I'll check this one out and get back to you guys in the comment section if this is going to give me a lint magnet, because that drives me nuts when you constantly have to wipe it down, wipe it down, because it's a case, you know what I'm saying guys? So that's that's my only beef with silicone cases. Let's get to the unboxing and see if it's a hit or a miss. Ultimately, you guys make the decision in the comment section, is it a hit, is it a miss? Keep the suggestions coming, we're going to keep... Uh, Keep up the reviews for the Note 9, which is a definitely a great phone. Expensive, but great phone. So here's the actual case itself. It's got a nice feel to it. Really nice, soft, smooth rubber finish that's got, a, you know, it's definitely, and let's take this out real quick. So it's actually got a little bit of give to it, but it actually feels very premium. Doesn't have as much give as some, where you can see it's actually a little bit more sturdy than some silicone cases now the interior has got this felt like finish it's not quite as felt like as maybe the apple version but it does feel really nice it's going to protect that glass back you can see on the inside got a little samsung note branding right there that's pretty much it so you got this soft finish right there that transitions all the way up to the bumper area so it's really going to protect your front all the way across and then obviously it transitions to this rubber silicone bumper around the sides. Now your bottom is exposed. I, I don't know why they do that. I wish they would just cover it up. Because when I'm buying a case, I don't want it to be exposed. If I'm putting a case on it, you know what I'm saying, guys? I just want it to be covered and not have to worry about it. Regardless if it adds a little more bulk. That's just my opinion on what you guys think about that. So the blue itself is definitely, it's a different, it's not as not as sharp as this blue you can see that blue is very very deep and actually looks gorgeous so this is gonna be a, a little bit different tone so it should complement it really well which is what i'm looking for you got a little samsung branding on the back fingerprint sensor cut out right there camera cutouts right there you know your buttons are covered up now usually when you get one of these the buttons are very clicky on these silicone cases which i really really like so let's go and check it out and see if it's a hit or miss we'll pop it into place and see guys i'm kind of been waiting on this one for a little while now it was sold out when i originally got my phone so i was able to get this i think off of mobilephone.com or something and it finally arrived so i wanted to bring it to you guys and see what what it looks like so there it is the first impressions let's go and get a little zoom i like the way that blue looks now again it's not exactly the same type of blue but it actually complements each other very well and it transitions very nicely into that darker blue up right there. So it looks really natural, which I prefer. And it very looks very, very nice in terms of overall. Overall, just look at that. Beautiful. That blue on blue looks nice. Got that little Samsung detail right there. Very subtle. It's pretty much engraved into it, so really don't even feel it. Fingerprint sensor cut out. You can see the transition right there. Nice, easy transition to the fingerprint sensor. Now you got some camera cut out right there. You can see the amount of camera protection you're going to get. So it's not crazy amount of camera protection, but you can see how it's raised above right there. So you get a little more raised edges. So if you do put it face down, you should be okay without any issues at all in terms of camera protection, at least just for the bare bones. So let's check out this lip protection. 
Now, one thing I will give them credit for, this is a curved screen, so they're going to have some difficulties getting this covered up. But you can see where it's raised up on the corners. That's fine. But you can see the amount of raised lip right there on the very top. So if you do drop it, it's going to hit that raised right here, raised right there, and then it's going to hit that raised lip up top. So they did a nice job, at least with what you're going to get. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Now, obviously, it's not going to, it's still going to get some dings on the phone but you can see it right there how much lip protection you are going to get from such a minimalist case because this doesn't add a lot of bulk at all volume up and down this is what i really like about these towel cases very clicky soft to the touch we'll just skip the big speed button because i always hit it accidentally anyways the bottom part's ex completely exposed now you can see how that kind of just transitions from this blue to the lighter blue and it actually looks very nice like i said now let's check out the pin it, it, I don't think it's actually not that bad, but you can see where it's kind of, you kind of have to put your finger right there to get it undone because the lip on this corner right here kind of goes in just a little bit. So I would like to see them have more of a flush cut out, but that's just personal preference. And then power buttons clicky and responsive as well. Let's check it out from this angle. Beautiful. This thing really does look nice and it's got a nice grip to it. Doesn't add a lot of bulk at all. So overall, is this a hit or miss, guys? I think this is going to be a hit. Now, the key is if I pull it out of my pocket and I got a bunch of lint, that's going to be a miss. But for the case itself, we'll call this a hit with the bottom part being exposed. That's probably the deal breaker for a lot of people. But for me, I'll, I'll probably still rock this case and just be careful with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.